So this is the new 625H. Uh, showed up while we were on vacation, and uh, man, is it nice. <laughs> here is uh ended up bringing the 610 home so i decided to line them up thought it would be kind of neat uh we'll start with down here with the uh the wannabe tiger cat uh the uh 548g wannabe because um, it's yellow and you guys can get that joke if you want but the 548g straight it's uh it's actually a real clean machine i picked it up at auction I'm gonna use it for smaller walnut jobs or I might sell it, I haven't decided yet. Um, it's like a 97, I think, or a 94. Uh, we got the 610C, my baby. I had that thing since it was new. About 4,500 hours on it now. Um, it's been a great machine. I got no, nothing, to come, nothing bad to say about that machine. It's an animal. It does everything I needed to do. I'll keep it around for the smaller jobs, kind of like the John Deere, the Walnuts, and smaller jobs. Um, the 620 I bought, this is a funny story, but I wanted the 625. Um, they didn't have it, so I bought the 620. I decided I still wanted the 625, so now I got the 620 up for sale. Um, I'm probably not gonna have it much longer. It's probably gonna go to ricer equipment. So anyone interested in the 620H, it's got 300 hours on it, clean, like new. Um, someone left the key on, I think that was my son. But uh, other than that, it's clean, ready to go. Like I said, 300 hours, so there's nothing wrong with it. And then we come to the beast that I thought I would never own one of these, but I thought I would never own half of the stuff I got. Um, I can't wait to get this thing in the woods and, and see what it can do. Uh, it's got the uh, 30.5s on the front, and then it's got the 28Ls in the back. Um, I got a set of chain tracks coming for it that'll wrap around both back tires. Be better in the low ground. It's a beast. I mean, this thing is a beast. Same front half as the 620, but a little more horsepower in the 625. Of course, a whole nother axle in the back. Um, I think the grapple's a little bit bigger too. pretty sure oh i don't have this grapple open but this one's open and it's a hog uh the 610 over here it's got a i think the 610's got a 13 foot grapple i think this has got like an 18 and then a 21 don't quote me on that and then the little john deere's got a baby grapple but that grapple is good enough for what that skitter can handle so um pretty clean little john deere i picked up i'm pretty happy with it it's got a lot of power it's got the big motor in it um the 610 i uh i love that thing pre-def the 610 c's are pre-def still got the turnaround seat so that thing's awesome um i bought this just the way it sits so it has no fenders and i love that about it uh and then i got the 620 thought i'd like the fenders i do not like the fenders at all um not for our high grade timber get them caught here the butt logs and they'll split the butt logs and that's not good um, and i'm not always running it so and then the 625 does not have fenders so i'm trading that in on the 625 if anyone's interested in the 620h get a hold of rice here equipment they'll take care of you um very good guys there uh i've been dealing with them for almost 10 years now and i'm on my I don't know, seventh piece or something. I, uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm on my fifth piece, not seventh. So <clears throat> I eventually will be on my seventh piece. But um, probably a knuckle boom next, uh, on a 250 instead of a 234. But I'll get it on tracks. So uh, that's beside the point. So I just wanted to show you guys the difference being lined up straight 
it's not much different and for this 620 right here i don't know the ex exact specs on the motor i think it's like 230 ish for horsepower and this uh 625 i think is 270 i i don't quote me on that i'll, I'll put the well the wife will put the specs up on on the video but um there's a little bit more power in this uh grapple's a little bit bigger it's definitely going to carry a bigger load because of the bogies and all these gravel pit jobs and lane clearing i'm doing that's going to help out a lot um it's going to do better in the low ground they say it does better in the hills that's been proven i got a set of tracks they're going to bring up um from ricer equipment when they when they come up this week to uh to uh i guess thank me for spending a lot of money um but i'll have a set of tracks i'll be able to put on in the winter or low ground whatever i need them um and of course you can put tracks on the 620 around the tires but you can't you don't get the flotation as you do it with a bogey with two tires so that's why it'll do a lot better in the low ground now cab wise they're exactly the same 100 percent um turnaround seat i got a winch put on this kind of a special order because a lot of guys run a bigger fuel tank to me a skitter without a winch is worthless even if i only use the winch once a year it's well worth it especially when you get stuck and there's not another skitter on the job my plan is not to have two skitters on a job my plan is to have a skitter on eventually i get another knuckle boom a 250 i'll be running two crews so i'll have the 610 the 234b on a job and then this beast with maybe the 250 and the the feller buncher because some stuff we still do hand cut so the hand cut can go with the 610c so that, that's kind of my future plan i don't know if it'll ever happen um you okay bud <laughs> he's okay um so i just I never thought I'd own a bogey, but here I am owning a bogey. So this thing's going to be a beast in the woods, beast on the job. Um, and uh, hopefully, just like the rest of their products, they're awesome. So just wanted to show you guys around a little bit, show you this machine. I, I got the winch. Uh, it's a, I'm pretty sure it's a recovery winch, and that's fine with me because that's probably all I'll ever use it for. The 620 has a winch, same thing. Um honestly the visibility out the 625 out the back is better than the 620 because first of all it doesn't have fenders i think that helps a little bit and then um just being a little farther out than the 620 being close up i think you get a little bit better visibility from here to there so uh where the 620 it's just a little harder you got to kind of sit up in your seat to see plus the fenders um i've never had a skitter with fenders and my recommendation i don't like them i don't like fenders my 610 never had fenders the 620 came with fenders i thought i would might like them just for stumps and brush to get away from the tires i don't like them i think i'm gonna like this a lot better um and get the wood up in the air past the tires because these are 28 l's these aren't um what are you doing bob filling your boot okay sidetracked so these are 28 l's the fronts are 30.5 32s and the same with the 620 those are 30.5 32s now the 28 l's people are gonna ask me why did i go with 28 l's because i'm not gonna run tracks year round if you're gonna run tracks year round on a bogey i was told to get the flotation tires i don't know what they're called they got some weird name the other thing about the flotation tires are a lot of guys are blowing sidewalls out and they are expensive tires very expensive tires and they're very hard to get you can't just walk into a store and get them the next day these 28 l's you pretty much can find them anywhere you can within a day or two so that's why i went with the 28 l's plus i'm not going to be running the tracks all the time if ever we'll see if we get this thing in the woods we might never need the track on the back but i'm gonna have them anyway um so I, that's why i went with the 28 l's i do know by putting 28 l's on this they do a little bit different i think gear ratio in there compared to the 
flotation tires that usually come on a bogey skater. I don't know what they're called. They're some kind of funny name, but I don't, I'm not going to say it on here. So, um, that's why I went with the 28Ls. 30.5s in the front. Um, I probably could have went with 35.5s in the front, but I decided not to just because all my stuff is 30.5s and it just makes more sense. Plus the set of tracks I already got will go on a 30.532. So, um, yeah, it's a beast. We'll get some film of it uh, in the job. Maybe both of them on the job because that skitter is going to the job tomorrow. And this one, uh, I'm not going to take to the job yet until they come up and see me. Just, just out of respect. Um, we got some final stuff to finish and everything, so it's going to sit right here. But that one will be on the job, and maybe I'll get that one over to the job, and we'll get them running side by side uh, before that one goes to Ricer Equipment. So um, if anyone's interested, that's a 620H. It is a 2022, because I, I just bought it six months ago. It only has, as of right now, I'm pretty sure it has right at 300 hours. So, um, very good machine. I, I, I mean, other than dirty, um, it's it's an awesome machine. Man, will it pull a drag? Uh, well built, of course. But uh, if anyone's interested in that, that'll be at Ricer Equipment in Ohio. So, um, I appreciate you guys watching. We'll get this beast in the woods, and uh, we'll show you what it'll do. Thanks.